Now, there is a tremendous amount of different species of animals on this planet. And obviously, they come in different sizes and different forms. Today, we will be going over 10 of the weirdest animals on Earth. Number one. Coming in at number one, we have the maned wolf. Even though these animals are called wolves, they actually are not. It is in fact that they share more in common with a common fox or a dog than actual wolves, despite what the name may say. So this animal is characterized as looking like a fox with huge pointy ears. It has been very uncommon for many predatory animals. In fact, in nature, the maned wolf actually acts more like an omnivore than a carnivore, eating both plants and animals. Number two. Next up, we have the magnificent frigate bird. Now, this is a bird that has the most ridiculous red puffy chest that you've ever seen. This bird originated in the Galapagos Islands. The number one reason why they look so strange with their big puffy red chest is actually due to their mating rituals. Here's a fun fact for you. The magnificent frigate bird was nicknamed the man of war bird because they like to actually attack other birds so that they can steal their food. Would have been more appropriate would be the pirate bird going all Jack Sparrow. These birds are known to fly over 2,500 meters above sea level. Number three. Coming in at number three, the aye aye. Now, Madagascar is known for being the home of many different strange animals. Now, most of these animals have not been found anywhere else in the world except for Madagascar. Perhaps one of the best examples of this is the aye aye. With its bulging eyes, its ever-growing teeth, and its long fingers. It's easy to understand why this creature makes the list. Now, this creature could become very creepy when facing it alone in the dark, in the middle of the night in the forest. I mean, could you imagine that sneaking up on you in the middle of the night in the forest? Uh-uh. No, thank you. Uh-uh. Remember that when hiking in the middle of the night in Madagascar, that the eye eye has an eye on you. Number four. Coming in at number four, we have the capybara. The capybara is indigenous to most of South America. Um, and the interesting thing about them is that they are um, noted to be the largest rodent. They tend to live close to bodies of water in large social groups, which this number can reach up to a hundred individuals during the dry seasons. Now, they're often spotted acting as a perch for birds, and this adds to their unusual appearance. Imagine you're just walking along and you see a bird perched on a rodent. Yep, that's what these guys do. One of the things that might surprise you about the capybara is that they are incredibly fast. They are actually capable of running as fast as a horse. These guys are also awesome scuba divers. They can hold their breath underwater for up to five minutes. Now they use their super scuba diving skills to avoid predators. Number five. Next up, we have number five, the armadillo grizzled lizard. They seem to have originated from the South African region. This lizard resembles a tiny dragon. Now this resemblance is especially noticed 
when they roll themselves up into a ball to hide from predators. This is the behavior that earned them their name. One of the really cool characteristics of this lizard is that it's one of the only lizard species in the world to actually give live births rather than the traditional laying the egg, so to speak, with other reptiles. Now, there is evidence as well that the females, that the female mothers will actually feed their young, which is also very uncharacteristic of a lizard. Number six. Coming up next is number six. Sloths. Now, sloths are known for being really slow. Sloths are known to be found in the trees around South America. Their faces are known to look slightly dopey. Some people say that from some angles, they actually appear to be smiling all the time. Their slow behavior and their slow movement is known to derive from their slow metabolism, which mainly consists of leaves. Now, this mechanism might seem odd, but it's actually derived to avoid predators. When it's because most predators, you see, they see with sight, right? Or by movement, right? So when they see, when they detect movement, they go after that prey. But a lot of times sloths seem to not move at all because they're moving so slowly. Now, believe it or not, but over 11,000 years ago, sloths actually used to roam the forest floors and they were actually very large. How large? Well, as it turns out, they may have been larger than actual modern day elephants. Now, sloths with their slow metabolism and being how slow they are, you would think, well, how do they go out to go to the bathroom? Well, as it turns out, this is a perilous journey that they only, they only um, poo every about a year to two years. It's actually really insane. They, what they do is they climb down to the forest floor to, to, to do that, right? To do their business. And that's when they actually mate, is when they're down there on the forest floor, which is very perilous. And that is how most of the sloths get preyed upon or get killed, is when they are down there taking a poo. Now, because they wait so long to, to go, when they do go, it releases about half of their body weight, sometimes even more. Number seven. Coming in at number seven, we have another Madagascar animal, the fossa. Now, these, these cat-like animals can measure up to four feet in length. Researchers believe that this animal may be related to the mongoose and other animals like it. The fossa is a carnivorous animal that eats mainly lemurs. As it happens, it's the only carnivore on Madagascar. Being big enough to actually eat adult lemurs. So their long bodies, their round ears, and their short legs earn them a spot on this list. Number 8. Coming in at number 8, we have the pangolin. Pangolins are truly bizarre creatures. They kind of resemble an armored anteater. In fact, so much so that their other name is scaly anteater. The interesting thing is, is that it's actually closer to a seal, a dog, or even a cat than it is to a 
um, an anteater or an armadillo. Despite their odd looks, a lot of people think they're pretty cute. With their beady eyes and their big feet and the way they curl up in a ball when they're threatened. A good place you can go to spot penguins is in the sub-Saharan area of Africa, where three different species of the penguin can actually be spotted. Sadly, these animals have been in decline because of aggressive poaching and exploitation within Asia and in Africa. Number nine. Coming up at number nine, we have the pink fairy armadillo. The pink fairy armadillo is only found in the central region of Argentina. Now, these animals are so rare that scientists have not yet been able to clarify what their conservation level actually is. Part of the reason why they're hard to find is because these animals are so small that they can fit in the palm of your hand. Not only that, they also are nocturnal and bury themselves in the ground. So like we've said before, these animals are very shy. They're very hard to spot. But if you'd like to spot one, Central Argentina is your spot to go out on an expedition and try and find one of these. Number 10. Next up, at number 10, we have a truly bizarre thing, velvet ants. Now, this might be a little confusing, but newsflash, these things aren't actually ants. Although they are called ants, they are not. They are actually a species of wasp. See, the females, they are wingless and hairy all over their body and very much resemble ants. Some specimens in Chile have been found with black and white spots. One of their nicknames is a panda ant, and when you see it, it's not hard to imagine why people call them panda ants. These ants are well known for their extremely painful stings. Now, because of these painful stings, they're actually known by a different name as well. These guys, these little guys really do have a lot of nicknames. Now, this one is actually more well known as the cow killer due to its intense sting that is able to kill a cow. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Legendary Studios Canada and I am your host Jacob and I am happy to be back in this video and please if you have any ideas for videos, if you have something that you want us to make a list about, post it down in the comments below. We would love to hear your ideas. We'd love to hear your comments. We try our best to read every comment. And we will try our best to reply to them as well. Remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you are always up to date with our content. Now I'll see you in the next video.